Right now, those give me answer. What is your strength? What is your interest? And what is your hobby? Just give me answer, please. Right now, I'm gonna ask. Strength, hobby, and interest, Mr. Ranjan. These all are the same. I hope. Well, this is not exactly the same. I'm going to share about what the difference actually in between strength, hobby, and hobby. Good morning, generation. I guess you you have a confusion regarding when you are preparing your profile. When the recruiter asks you the same question, what is your strength? What is your hobby? At the time, maybe you are in a confusion. What to say right now? Strength and hobby are the same thing, right? Do you feel why this recruiter asking you this? What is your strength and what is your hobby? Is it deemed that there is a difference between them? No, exactly the same thing is there. That's why the recruiter asks you. There is a difference between strength, hobby, and your interest. So first of all, if you are going to consider me about the strength, strength is of two types. One is your technical strength, one is your personal strength. So when you are considering about your personal strength, that means in where you are very good at. For an example, you are a work-wise person, you are a punctual, you are a self-motivated person, you are a self-disciplined person, and it's all about your personal strength. That means you are very good at that one. You are a team player. You are a, you can say, a, you are a very good organizer. You are a, you are having the leadership quality. This is your personal strength. But when it coming to your professional strength, it's about a different thing. That may be your technical strength. That may be your software strength. For an example, some software you know how to operate that one. If you are a design engineer, you know how to operate CAD, CAM softwares. And if you are a uh, IT sector, you know how to write. Codings in C, C plus plus, Java, JavaScript, Python, and other things. If you are a electrical engineer, you know how to operate PLC, SCADA, and other things. And and all uh, in according to your branches, what the software you know how to operate that one. This is your software skills. So regarding your technical skills, you can say which machine operation you know. As if you are a mechanical engineer, you know how to operate the lathe machine, how to operate the uh, CNC lathe, CNC milling, manual lathe, manual milling, grinding machine, or drilling machine, a and DDA machine, lot many things are there. Which machine you know how to operate? You can share that. If you are a civil engineer, you can share also how to operate, how to do surveying, how to measurement by the help of Gunther chain. You can say also um, you know how to operate QTM machine, universal testing machine, a and so many things are there. So this is your technical strength. So while you are sharing your strength. Be differentiate that one, sir. Regarding my technical strength, I am very good at this particular thing. Or regarding my professional strength, I am very good at AutoCAD. I am very good at CAD. I am very good at CAD Pro. I am very good at MasterCAM and all things. And regarding my personal strength, I am a workaholic person and self motivated. So this is all about your strength. Right now, if a question comes, what is your hobby way? Hobby is the thing that you love. In any situation, when you get a free time, you love to do that one. For an example, you love to browsing internet, finding the new facts, new research, and new thesis. Also, you are very good at that one. You are fond of that one. So when you get a free time, you go through internet and you research that one. For an example, you love to cook. Your your hobby is cooking. That means when you get a free time, it's a time to cook. You love to do that one without any hesitation, without any problem. And if your hobby is playing cricket or playing some games or playing chess, anything, when you got a free time, you call your friends and you move to that. If your hobby is moving or maybe finding new places and go for adventure trip, this or this is your. If this is your hobby, that means in a free time when you get a free time, you just move to your free space. So this is all about your hobby. That means the hobby is not depend on your mood. When you get a free time, you love to do that one. Maybe you are very happy in the situation. Maybe you are very sad in the situation, or maybe you are in a normal situation in the time. But you love to do do that one when you get a free time. But then, what is interest? Interest is depend on your means uh, depend on your mood. Right now, if you have a mood, you know to do that one. If you don't have any mood, uh, tomorrow I will do that one. Day after tomorrow, when you get when I get a free time, I will do that one. But right now also you are free, but you are always you are trying to procrastinate the things, delaying the things. So this is actually interest. The best example for interest is reading books. Consider 
when the time to read it, uh, read a new book read a you can say spiritual book or maybe read a self uh, discipline book or self you can say intellectual improvement book then what you do uh, this is not my email tomorrow i will do that tomorrow and tomorrow always you try to procrastinate that work so reading book is the best example for exist because you can say uh, 70 to 80 percent people are doing the same thing those people are when they get a free time they want to read the books that means this is a hobby if to depend on your mood if you have a mood then you can do that one if this is not the interest for you then skip it that means this is your interest if uh, singing song is not a interest it's a hobby when you get a free time you love to sing but listening music is a interest that means when you when you get a free time when it's your mood depends on your mood you love to listening the songs same dancing is your hobby that means when you get a free time you love to dance for watching dancing that means when you get a free time watching dancing that means this is your interest so when you do something by effectiveness this is your strength uh, sorry this is your hobby but when you love to do that one depend on your mood that is your interest so i do feel you get a clear idea about strength hobby and weakness right now after this when the recruiter asks you tell me something about your strength give it two different direction regarding my personal strength and regarding my professional strength so at the time the recruiter may be thinking oh what a smart guy i, I want to cross ship with the other international indians also so try to be smart and give an answer in a polite and genuine manner you will be a very good person and the last i just want to share you Try to push the envelope with synergize. Jump at something. Call all the sirs and be a paradigm shifter for their gender world. Thank you.